What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to invite you today into my, I don't know, digital home, I guess? Like for me, when I'm talking to the computer right now and I'm like talking to my Let's Play audience, I always like assume that you're like in my house behind me, like sitting on a couch. Like that's how I visualize it in my face. I actually make hand gestures and stuff too, like when Obama gives a speech or like world leaders give speeches, they use lots of hand movements. I do that too. I actually physically take my hand off the mouse all the time, like I was doing right now, and I actually gesture at the screen as though it were a person. And so what we had done in the previous episode, we gotten ourselves into our first fight, Noxo Boxo. Maybe it's Noxo Boxo. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm gonna go with Noxo Boxo because it sounds a lot more fun. Did they get any better at shooticating? That's the other thing that I was wondering about. Like, we really need our shooters to level up. I wish that you could get like a... Thank you for selling the Burgeritza recipe. The offer I got was really generous. 1500 credits have been transferred to your account. Oh good. Let's see if we can hunt down a few more pirates. Let's see here. We can go to Leoft. And, ooh, after I was defeated in the finals of a major electronic sports tournament, it turned out my opponent had cheated. Now it's my turn to cheat. Find that scumbag near Zombotch and frag him and restore my honor, will you? Apparently this League of Legends game got way, way too personal. This is like getting shot over a game of Madden, to uh, paraphrase the Boondocks episode. We'll go ahead and we'll take him out. It's 3,500 cash that we don't have right now, and if there's one thing I know, it's great to have extra cash in this game, so we're going to work towards that. Let's see here. I was checking my timer real quick, so I gotta think about what I wanna talk about. Well, we've got enough money. I mean, we don't really need to... Wait, we have 10 cargo? How do we have 10 cargo right now? Oh, we have beer and energy. I should sell all this. There we go. Sell that, sell that. Now we have an empty cargo hold. Nice. We could buy some paper, but since we're about to go kill a guy, I'm gonna try and keep our cargo empty, and then we'll make a jump over to Zombotch, and let's get ourselves into another fight. I think this should be pretty entertaining. I think we have enough bullets to engage. Yeah, the last fight took us five crates of bullets, so we've got more than five crates left. And this one's actually a one-star enemy versus a two-star. Now, one of the things that they've added that I really do appreciate is that the developers in the recent patch, it didn't used to tell you how difficult a fight was. You just showed up, and you got your ass handed to you, and you had to run away if it was a hard fight. Now they've given it, like, a star rating that allows you to figure out whether you can handle it or not. One and two stars you should be able to handle with just double turrets. Three stars, four stars, you're gonna need grenade launchers. You're just, you're gonna have to have grenade launchers. So, unfortunately... Let's see, so my pitiful rival can't deal with his failure, now he sends you for revenge? That's just lame. Better save your game now. Press play to die. <laughs> I love the banter in this game, it's hilarious. So we've got five, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna shoot these now so that they reload early. Shoot. I command you to shoot. I'm, I'm click, I'm clicking on you, shoot. Are they not in the proper, hold on. Are they not doing the right thing right now? Operate turret, operate shields, operate turret. No, they're doing the right job right now. I don't know, they're just not wanting to fire, I guess. We're closing with the enemy very, very shortly. There we go, I want you to reload before we get close. There we go. And you can click these really, really quickly. I don't know if you can actually, I wish you could press like hotkeys to fire these because it would make it a little bit easier. There we go, he's reloaded. Let's, let's wait for the grenade to come through. Oh, it missed us, good. Okay, let's fire. Sometimes you can wait it out like that if you're like sneaky about it. You can be like, ah, you missed. Let's unload on him. See what damage we can get in here. We should be able to get his armor down really, really quickly. He should hit us with his first phone call really soon. And there goes a grenade. I'm gonna, oh, is the shield working? What happened to the shield? Where's our shield? Why is our, did that, was that a bug? What just happened to our shield? There was no shield animation, there was no anything. Okay, so he's offering us terms so that we can surrender, but we're not gonna take him because I think we can still win this if we're careful. Our shields are not functioning right now. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to flee. Run away. If our shields are not functioning, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but our shields are most assuredly not doing anything. So, yeah, our shields are doing nothing right now. I don't know if they got damaged. This is really, really weird. Why are our shields not functioning right now? We should see a little thing around our ship. We blocked those shots before, but nothing's... Ha is he hacking us, maybe? I wonder. Because our shields aren't functioning at all. Well, I don't know if I want to risk it or not. We could, ah. 
I think it's best that we flee and we figure out what's going on right now and why our shield is not functioning in combat because we should get, you saw it in the previous episode, we should have a little shield around us right now when we activate the shield and nothing's happening. Is he actually function? is he working on the shield right now? It might be damaged or something because you can see here he's working on the shield so maybe he's trying to fit maybe he got damaged in that first burst but yeah that was not good for us that was actually really really bad let's fly away for the moment we're gonna have to run away because I don't know if that was a bug or what happened right there but whatever it was our shield man you click on it nothing's happening kind of have an we have an interesting problem on our hands luckily it's easy to run away from enemies so it's not that big of a deal but it is that big of a deal kind of because we just failed that mission because our shield is not functioning we'll have to try out another combat and we'll see if it's like bugged or what's going on here I don't know I haven't restarted the game in a couple hours I was playing before I started recording and then so it's been going for a while but let's have a look Oh no, how come such frauds win in real life too? I'll never play a game anymore. Thanks for ruining my life. He cheated again. He did cheat again. I'm not even sure what... I don't even know how to justify what just happened, to be honest. Do they have a shipyard here? Okay, they do. We gotta buy some more bullets. We need to figure out what the hell went wrong with our shield right there. My only guess is that maybe he had a hacker on board that was hacking us, but you would figure that there would be some kind of notification that you were being hacked. The shield was definitely not working though, so... You know, maybe you should like be better at your job, science guy. Grab a tiny little drink right here. I gotta wet my whistle because my whistle hasn't been wet in quite some time. Yeah, we got... Like I, like I said before, if you take like one burst of grenades, you are done for. So watch out for that. I'd like to test my gun... Or I'd like to test my shields out now and make sure that they're functioning properly. I'm really sort of weird about what's going on right now. I don't know how to justify it. I don't know how to talk about it. I don't really know how to commentate on it, but our shield is not working. And it needs to be working, like, really, really hard because we pay it money to work. Like, this guy, he gets paid basically to sit on our ship and make that work. And so if he's not doing his job, puts me in an awkward situation. Let's go ahead and go to Mutter Flam. It's the same quest that we had before to frag the cheater. On Luft, they want 20 days to bring them robots. We might be able to make that work. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up some robots anywhere. And yeah, we have robots right here, so we might as well pick them on up. And they said that they pay us like 9,000 a piece for robots right there. 4,500 a piece for robots. So that's still way more than we paid for them. We paid... Yeah, I mean, we'll make 1,500 off each one. We bought them at kind of top value. But if we could hit another place where they produce robots soon, before we go anywhere else, like Base Rife, I think, they produce robots. So yeah, let's go to Base Rife. We'll get some more robots and we'll trade those out. I wish that I could zoom in on my ship right now and go into combat without actually without actually having to go into combat. What I'll do is if our shield doesn't work in the next part, I'll restart the game and see if maybe that fixes it. Or maybe I'll investigate a little bit online. There's not a whole lot of wikis or anything to tell you how to play the game. So that's the only other thing that I've run into is that it's difficult to look up information for the game. Because the forums don't appear to be populated very heavily and also the wiki just isn't updated. So unfortunately, like with a lot of this stuff, I have to sit around like after time. Basically, I have to do overtime as you would do in like football or whatever and just kind of sit around trying to figure out what makes certain things work and what fixes certain bugs and basically it's kind of like back when I was 12 before like we had the internet you can't look up how to fix anything back then you just kind of had to do it you just had to sit and fiddle with it for a while until you figured it out they only had one robot there so unfortunately we're not gonna make a ton of money off that still it's one more robot than we had before so no complaints for me let's figure out where we need to it was loafed right that we need to go to there's loafed and mutterflam which one's closer let's find out I think Loft is probably the easier run, so let's go for Loft first. Then we'll go for Mutter Flam and we'll see if we can finish off the combat quest that we were given. And so floating away, floating away. We haven't used, nobody's been getting sick lately either. I'm kind of wondering, I don't think it's because I've been keeping my ship clean because I really haven't been doing very well with that, but eh, whatever. It seems as though my plan has functioned perfectly fine. It's okay to have five people with only four beds. They don't all go to bed at the same time. And what you could do to kind of fix that problem is have them take differing shifts. So for example, like three people would work during the day and then sleep at night, and then three people would work at night while sleeping during the day and so forth. Even though there is no day and night while we're floating through the endless vacuum of space here. Don't question it, don't question it, it's fine. Five units of robots and zero tools, you'll be paid when you're... What? How does this mission work then? Hold on. I thought you just brought however much you could get and then you went back. 
They need tools. I guess we can buy tools from here. I mean, what are they paying me for them? A thousand per tool? So yeah, I mean, I just bought them for 500. I suppose we could go out to... Where was the place that we needed to go for our murder mission? Oh yeah, Mutterflam was where we needed to go. So I guess we'll go to Mutterflam. We'll see if they have tools over there. They consume tools, actually. So maybe find a place where they produce tools, possibly? I mean, a lot of these are kind of flying a little bit too far out of the way to make this work. So that doesn't look like tools get produced anywhere. So let's just go to Mutterflam. We'll get into this fight. We'll see if our shields work for us. If they don't, then I will, after this episode, see if I can figure out how to get them to work. Let's see here. It's not allowing me to activate the shield still, which makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, the shield's still not functioning. It's not putting the shield up around us. I have no idea how to fix this. I do wish that there was a little bit more specificity led to the combat controls so that I could tell them to kite a little bit better or to do like certain movements aside from just these prescribed ones. I... I don't know. Doing a flyby might be the best course of action to be honest because... Ooh, this is going to get ugly real fast but we got to try it. We'll open fire right now. Let me put up the shield. Yeah, the shields aren't functioning, so that's just something we're going to have to deal with along the way. Just keep firing. Just lay into this guy. Full DPS burn. And then maybe go with like a swap sides right here. Because we could get hit by like eight grenades if we mess this up. Keep firing. Under no circumstances should you cease firing at any point. Just keep shooting because we don't have shields right now, so we've got to do this like a bamf. We just got to kind of DPS this thing out. I'm going to keep shooting and we're not going to take their first phone call because they're trying to surrender right now. But I would rather just shoot the hell out of them at the moment. Let's go ahead and we are going to... Let's fly a circle. Our hull is looking kind of beat up. We may want to take this. They want to give us three tools and 500 money. And in order to have them surrender, our, yeah, we need this mission. So we're going to take their offer. And we also, there we go, we'll take their tools at the moment. So there we are. We've got tools on board, and we should still get to complete the mission because we ran them off. So we beat them up, but we really need to figure out why the shield is not functioning. This is, I think it's a bug. I'm almost positive it's a bug because, there we go. And so they pay us either way. We just have to run the guy off and make him look stupid, so... That's fine. We were able to do it with a full-on DPS burn from our limited DPS supply. Nonetheless, I would love to see our shields actually function, so I guess after this episode, I'll go and do a little Google Foo and figure out why my shields aren't working. And we've got another guy here, a ghost driver endangering other vessels in the system. Near Loft, his maneuvers are getting more and more hazardous, and they want us to kill. Basically, he's a drunk driver, and they want us to kill him. So we could sell the tools here for a ton of cash if we wanted to. I guess we'll probably take the tools back though. Why not? We'll be... We'll stick to our guns with regards to what we're trying to accomplish here. I'll probably... It looks like the art's really cheap here, so we'll buy that. There's no shipyard, so I can't repair anything at the moment. Gotta take this back to Loft. I didn't take that mission, did I? Okay, I don't want the combat mission. Let's just go back to Loft. We'll jump into the shipyard. We'll drop off these tools. We'll make a little bit of cash. And that should be fine. If they take the tools, but they don't give us the cash, this is going to sort of suck for us. They said they weren't going to pay us until, but they didn't tell us how many units they wanted brought over, did they? I mean, let me look at the mission here. Yeah, it doesn't give us any amount specifically that they want, so I don't know. Maybe give us like an actual number of tools and robots that they require before we get penalized for it, but we'll run this over here and hopefully it'll be enough. And so there it is, landing on the planet Loaf. The planet Loaf looks like somebody just did like a burnout right there. We need more, you'll be paid. Dude, we've dropped off like 40,000 credits worth of stuff with you. Like this quest totally isn't even worth it. Like how many more things do you need? We've dropped off 10 tools and we've dropped off 4 robots and there's no more left like in the solar system. I'm a little bit confused here as to like what they want from me. Let's repair our ship. There we go. And so having been all repaired up, we are in negative money now. So I'm going to have to sell off all this art. In order to almost break even, I guess. That's weird. It said that the art at the other place was like being produced. But the art over here... 
Is that art actually selling for 113? No, it's not. See, that's bugged right there. It's saying that it's being sold for a different amount than it actually is. I'm not sure what's going on right here, but something weird is happening. I think my game is finally hitting that point where after a couple hours you play it and it almost like universally bugs out eventually. Like right there. Like just as you play the game, things seem to like break more and more and more as you go through. And so like your first hour is always like really pleasant and then after that things just like stop working and you're like, well damn. I guess I'm a little bit upset right now. Maybe I can fix this by like resetting the game or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do that because it's cost us a lot of money now that things are just not functioning like they're supposed to. And so maybe... I don't even know what to do right now to be honest. We'll travel. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut right here and I'll try and reload the game and we'll see if maybe that fixes whatever's going wrong right here. Be right back. Alright, so I'm back now. I don't know if it fixed anything, but I restarted the game, restarted my computer and everything else, just kind of clear out whatever cache that it had going on. I don't know if it's going to work for us, but we'll give it a go. And if this ends up just being too buggy again, I guess we'll probably break it off early. It's disappointing because I did want to do like 15 episodes on this game, but it seems like every time I get a couple of episodes in, we get some like debilitating bugs here. And this one cost us like 37,000 credits, this last bug. And they wouldn't let us drop off. I mean, maybe they pay us at the end of whatever we dropped off. Maybe that's the other thing with loafed. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, it says we have no open missions right now, but we totally and completely still have that mission on loafed where they wanted us to bring stuff to them, so I think we may have been bug bombed again, unfortunately. Let's jump in here and we'll see what we can do to kind of recover our losses because we are sitting in a really, really ugly place right now with regards to our cash flow. So I'll probably buy... Oh, I don't know. Let's buy some energy. It's cheap and we can run it somewhere else in the galaxy. We'll check for jobs here as well and let's actually see if... Yeah, it bugged out on us again, unfortunately, so that's that. He's over here doing the robot as he has been in the past. I don't know. I just don't know. You guys can let me down, lo know down below. It's kind of, it's not frustrating because I know I'm playing an alpha, so before you always get that guy who's like, it's an alpha, it's supposed to be buggy. I know. I know, I'm not like angry or anything about it, it's just like disappointing because I keep getting like a certain amount of steps inside and then things break very, very consistently, in fact, around the third episode that I record every single time. And I don't know if it's like, has to do with the way that the game's managing memory or something, where it's just like losing things randomly in the allocation, or what's going on, but in a lot of cases, let's see if we can drop off power anywhere. Okay, so we can jump on out here to Vaughn. We've never been out to Vaughn, so we might as well. Let's swing on out to the middle systems, and we'll give those a little bit of a visit. Do some touristy stuff. The crew wants to give the local radio station a live prank call. What's the joke? Ask for Icy Wiener. Nice. The radio people raffled big time. They even offered a payoff of 500 credits. Told you I'm funny. Great. And so that's going to be a Futurama reference. The pizza that they called in that gets Fry locked up in the cryogenic tube is for Icy Wiener. But yep, made ourselves a little bit of money. I don't think I've ever made money from a prank call before. I may have made enemies, but I've never made money from a prank call before. But you should always do prank calls from toll phones, and toll phones are becoming, like, increasingly difficult to find, like, in the real world. It's just like, well, damn, this seems like a major security breach for me. My age-old plan of spinning the ship around in circles while using a toll phone to make phone calls is sort of not functioning the way I want it to. It put me down to normal speed. That's what happened. I don't want to be at normal speed. I want to be fast. I want to fly. The speed of Liggett. Maybe not the speed of Liggett, but close. Oh, that's how you can click on him. Okay, so sorry, can't talk. Sore throat, got a cold. Lisa Bauer. So you can jump people that way. Let's see, no detailed information requires antennas. Can we even research that yet? It looks like we can't even do that yet. So maybe we don't even need to worry about it. How's our outer ring research going? It's going to be done in 19 days. So we've got about 30 days in. That's cool. That's cool. All right, scientists, doing your thing, making sure that your mustache is properly pressed. Yep, I feel you. I feel you. And so here we are in the outer system selling off all of our energy. Okay, so there it is. So we sold off our energy. We made a little profit right there. Not much of one, but we made a little profit, a little tiny profit. So unfortunately, after losing all of our money to a bugged quest, we're kind of stuck in a spot right now. They've got a bunch of robots, though, so I may make this run a couple times just to make the money back. Where do they need robots at? I bet somebody needs robots in the galaxy. Somebody here needs robots. I'd be willing to... You'd think it would be loafed considering... There we go. Funfix needs robots. 
So fun fix to Vaughn. That's what we need to be running during the back half of this episode so that we can make our cash back. Hopefully our repair guy is getting stuff done because I 100% do not have the cash right now to repair anything. This thing is going to be rapidly falling into state of disrepair. In fact, if you're going to disrepair, dat repair, whatever repair you want, that's what it's going to be. He's been doing science. I could upgrade him right now, but we don't have the money. We have like three digit cash right now, which is all kinds of terrible. After being bugged out by that quest, unfortunately, it left us. I probably should have looked for transport quests while we were here so we could make a little bit more money. It seems to be related to the fact that the game doesn't save your missions when you leave the game, but it saves everything else. But at the same time, it still tracks the fact whatever variable is controlling that whether or not... There's a true-false variable somewhere that dictates whether you actually have a mission or not. And there's also some variable around somewhere that dictates whether the mission is in your log. It seems like it bugs out every now and again and removes the mission from your log, but it's still actually like an active mission that just like stays there forever. If you exit the game while you have an active quest going or something, I'm not really sure. It's, it's a strange thing to think about, but I think that's probably what's going wrong here. Eh. Thus is the nature of doing alpha coverage. You get used to it. I mean, I, I used to get frustrated about it, but then, you know, you kind of got to sit down and be like, well, you chose to play an alpha game on your channel, so whose fault is it really? Let's sell those robots off, make a giant profit right there. We're going to jump back, buy some more robots from Vaughn, and this is going to allow us to recoup our losses as quickly as we can. It would be really nice if we could buy something here that we could sell to Vaughn at a decent price. We could buy goons. I mean, everybody loves guns, right? Let's go back over here, and do they need guns on Vaughn? They don't need them, but they don't produce them either, so I think I might buy some guns right here. Then once we buy ourselves a couple gats, nobody's gonna mess with us ever again. So there it is. We'll buy ourselves a whole ton of guns. Actually, I should probably repair first, right? Let's repair first and make sure that our ship isn't gonna fall out of space before we do this. There we go. And so we'll buy two guns, we'll fly them back, and we'll just go back and forth in between these two locations till the end of the episode, making our money back! Fly! Fly like the wind, even though there's no wind in space. I mean, I guess there's solar winds, but those are a little bit different. Captain, the snack machine's power cable got crippled by critter teeth. Most of the food starts digesting itself. It should be fixed easily enough, though. Okay, so our repair guy's gonna jump, and you see the sparks right there? That just means that the room took damage, and it needs to be repaired now, so hopefully he'll be able to handle that before anything else goes too critically wrong with it. The only rooms that you really don't want to fall apart are the cockpit and the engine. If those fall apart, oh my god, it is terrible. It basically ends your game right there if you don't have a repair guy on board. Because you fly at the same trajectory you had previously, and you just float with that inertia forever. And so if you run into a planet, great, it allows you to dock at the planet, but if you don't hit a planet or a ship before then, oh, you are toast. It is bad daisies for you. It says I have nine on board. What, what do I have on board right now? Energy, maybe? Hmm. Unfortunate. Got people waiting in line to take showers now. Or maybe to drop a binky. You gotta drop a binky every now and again. A well-timed binky can really make the rest of your day much, much better. I mean, I don't want to be too crass about this, but it is true. I mean, the afternoon meeting can fall at really, really good spots where it's just like, that was perfectly timed, and I feel great about my day now. My day feels fantastic from here on out. When we get to Vaughn, we may try and take some transport missions or something too, make a little bit of extra cash on top of whatever it is we did previously, instead of just trade running back and forth. We'll sell the guns here. Yep, 4,000. That'll be nice. Make a little profit. Yep, yep, yep. And then we'll find some robots around here. There they are. We'll buy off his remaining robots, and we'll take those back to... It was... Where was it that we went? I can't remember. Who wanted robots? Somebody wanted robots over here. Is it Vaughn? No, we're on Vaughn right now. Well, that's embarrassing. It was like two seconds ago. There we go. It was fun fix. Back to fun fix we go, but let's check for missions first. I also haven't tested combat since we got out of here. We could go to... Yeah, it's near Triamont. Yeah, we'll queue it up just to see if our shields are fixed, and we'll go back to fun fix, make some money. Let's go ahead and bounce in between. Obviously, I'm not going to do this until we've recovered our cash. We really, really, really need to recoup our losses right now. We're basically in the exact same spot that we started in the first episode of this playthrough where we've got no money, we've got nothing to draw back on, so we really need to get these problems taken care of before we undertake any other things. But if our shield continues to not function, that's basically the end of our run as a combat craft. I... am eh, no idea. I'll do a little bit of research, but... frankly, given the resources the game has right now, it may be... a little bit scanty as far as that goes. 
Luckily, I know the developers have checked out these videos, so as the bugs come up, this is a great way for me to just like report bugs along the way because I haven't played the game a lot, and the bugs do come up pretty frequently, so hopefully that'll help them get squished a little bit more rapidly. The last patch fixed a whole bunch of stuff, and so I'm figuring they're just cleaning things up one by one. The last patch that they did for release day fixed a bunch of stuff, and so there's still some overhanging bugs, but it's getting cleaner with every single patch cycle, and they are adhering to a strict every two weeks they, they patch the game, so that's good. They've got a countdown timer and everything on the front screen, so in fun fix, we will drop off a few more robots. There we go. And so now we're back in business here. We'll probably buy some more guns, too. Yep, there it is. Buy them guns. How damaged is everything right now? Is our ship, like, falling apart? It is. Okay. So while that won't really affect too much, let's buy some more guns here. Ooh, we're actually negative. I'm going to sell one back. There we go. I'm going to sell one back so that we don't, like, get ourselves into trouble here. And then we'll sprint back to... Actually, I could probably go somewhere else. Let's go back to our galaxy menu. We don't necessarily have to go back out to Vaughn. We could go to Sixok. They'll take the guns just like anybody else will. And it's a little bit closer. So let's drop off the guns over here. That'll put our cash way back up into the black. Once we're in the black, we will hope that we never go back to being broke. And we'll go do that mission on Triamon before we end the episode. Because I want to see if our shield is functioning now that I reset the game. If the shield doesn't function there, well, then I guess that's something we're just going to have to live with. Or we'll have to stack up on grenades and get a different ship. But that's a little bit more cumbersome than it sounds. I mean, going down to a smaller ship just so that we can fire grenades at people and kind of DPS them faster than they DPS us because our shield isn't working isn't really a suitable situation that I feel like being in. So let's drop these guns off. There it is. We made ourselves a good 20,000 credits, and I think we're carrying around energy, too. Wait, what are we carrying around with us right now? Oh, we have art? I didn't even know we had art on board. Okay, sell the art. There we go. I don't know where that art came from, but I guess we had it on board. Somebody's probably screaming at the screen the entire time that I had art on board. Let's upgrade our crew. I'm going to promote our scientist. That's going to... No, oh, he can be a pilot. That's pretty cool. But he's doing science right now, so he can't really focus on piloting. That means that he's going to need entertainment. We're going to avoid that for right now. Let's just go back to Triamon and see if we can fix this. Although it looked like Triamon... Yeah, it still has an error 404 message. Unless that's just the default it goes to if it doesn't find, like, a description for the place. All right, so Unicap After Party. We're seriously trying to accomplish what our Quadruball team was incapable of. Red card, guys. And so here we go. Okay, our shield's functioning again. That's good. So resetting the game appears to reset your shield. Either that or we're no longer being jammed. I have no clue what dictates whether you're being jammed or not. It's probably something that I should be aware of. Let's do a flyby. Because if you circle him, that means that he's constantly going to be in range of his little broadside cannons. And we don't want those to like come down upon us like 50 tons of 50 bricks. They're, they're heavy bricks. The bricks are actually heavier than the normal, you know, never mind. Just just bear with me here. I'm coming up with all kinds of weird stuff at this point. It's the end of my day, and my brain is rapidly deteriorating. I guess I didn't get enough brain food this morning. We're going to start firing now. We're going to hover over the shield. And we block that first one right there. Continue firing. Let's get nice and up close inside that. And if you can just wound him as badly as possible, I will be totally stoked by that prospect. Now when we do a flyby, we probably need to be careful. Eh. We're getting him, we're getting him. So as I said in the previous episode, never mind, your turrets rotate. I gave you bad information in the previous episode about how you could only fire forward with these things. Oh, I wasn't watching that one, that was my fault. I was looking down below at my at my gunnery, trying to figure out what I wanted to do here. It looks like they only have one torpedo tube. And we're actually going to destroy him. I'm not really going to focus on... Although I'm a little confused why we're not turning around right now. We should probably do that. Let's answer the call and see what he's got. He wants to give us $900. We're going to say no and refuse. And then what we're going to try and do right now is we're going to try and ram him, actually. So let's bring ourselves around here. Because I think he's going to try and pull a runner. He shouldn't be able to outrun us. Our ship should actually innately just be faster than them. Because I think the developers haven't really fleshed out the tactical variations of the combat just yet. And so it seems like they've given you a pretty sizable advantage when it comes to speed. So that you can run down enemies easily so they can't run away. And I think later on, they're probably going to kind of expand upon the chase part of the fighting. 
once he realizes he's about to be caught, he should turn around and try and unload on us again. But we're going to kill him here because we want all of his loot because it's free money and it makes me happy. He's got one rotating turret right now. Shields up. Block that. Very nice. Ooh, and there's a really, really good volley that we've hit him with. He should try and call us fairly shortly and be like, yo, I kind of don't want to die. There we go. Oh, what a glorious victory, my captain. Your rewards are 2,000 credits and 28 tons of loot. So we actually want to take the good stuff here. He's got art. We'll take that. We want the expensive stuff. Games. Yeah, definitely. Definitely into some gaming. Might be a good way to pass some time. Take the paper as it's next up on the list. I don't actually think there was that much loot. It said that there was more loot than there actually is. I don't know. Let's go ahead and bounce. And so as we arrive on the planet Luft, or no, Triamond. Oh, yeah, we got paid. Great, Captain. You took care of those hools. Let's hope our team will perform better next time. Enjoy your 4,700 credits. Oh, don't worry. I will. I've already got it spent. And so on we go back to Triamond where we'll repair our ship. And maybe, I don't know, maybe in the next episode since our shield is now working again, we'll start playing around with some new stuff. I kind of want to do piracy. It seems like that might be fun. Later, it looks like you're going to get detailed information from, like, an antenna suite or something like that. Food's cheap here. Games are expensive, though, so I'll take that. We'll sell everything that we have. We'll sell the paper here. So you make a nice little bit of scratch on the side from all the stuff you steal from these pirates as well. Although, I think they're full up on art right now, so we're not going to be able to unload that. We've got six units of cargo left. And it looks like it's energy and food. So there it is. Got ourselves 45,000 credits right now. I may try and buy a new ship in the next episode. And we'll see if we can outfit that for combat. I may try the big guy and see if the big guy can use tur- If the big guy can use turrets- Or I'm sorry, if it can use grenade launchers. Then I'm just totally going to outfit our ship to be like a giant gunboat. And we'll just fight everybody with just ridiculous amounts of slaughter. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Cosmonautic. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care of everybody. And as always, I do.